command, there is a great command in the Bible. The, the, the commandment is, is to believe in the name of Jesus. You, know, you see, the name of Jesus is holy. It's fire. And there's power to heal any, any disease. There's power in, in the name of Jesus to heal anything. That's why when, when Jesus spoke to his disciples, he said, um, Behold, I can keep power over all sicknesses, over all diseases, and over all um, demons. Because these, these demons, they, they oppress. They want to oppress you. They, they have you captive. That's what now it says that Jesus came to talk to the captives, to, to make free the captives. Because if you are a sin, the Bible says, you're a slave of sin. You think you have freedom, but you're actually a slave of sin. Because in the gospel, the Bible really, the, 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 the essence of it is giving up what you think you want to get what you really want. Giving up what you think you want to get what you really want. Because you don't want help. You don't want help. Trust me, you do not want help. And most people don't want to go to a perfect place. It's just, it seems that it's, it's pricey. It seems like a, a high price. Jesus said count the cost, but the cost isn't really that high because Jesus is, is, is he's worth it. He's worth it. And when you come to Jesus, he, will, he, he shows you things. He says, um, if you continue in the truth, the truth shall set you free. The truth will set you free. And that's freedom in the Holy Ghost, freedom in Jesus, freedom in God. So that's, what, that's why we're here, it's, it's offering, Jesus when he came here, wasn't offering burdens. Is offering freedom. Each commandment of Jesus is freedom and everlasting life. Every single thing Jesus said was to free. He didn't come to give you bondage. In fact, he came to take you free from bondage and to put you under grace, mercy, and the love of the Father. To set you free from the bondage of the fear of death so that you can have a hope, not only in the life to come, but hope in this life. He even said, anyone who comes to Jesus will have received a hundred times back in this life, and in the world to come, eternal life. So it's, it's a great, it's a good message. And the things, and even if you continue in Jesus uh, on this world, he said, ask anything in my name. If you have a pure heart, can ask anything in his name, Say he wanted to go to heaven or anything like that. You could ask anything in his name on this earth. And it will be given to you. So it's a, it's a very big salvation that Jesus has given to you. It's not just burden and oh yeah, then maybe you might make it. But it's a guarantee that if you hold on to the hope of Jesus as soon as you believe. He says if you believe in me, you have passed from death to life. And you should not come to judgment. And it is, it's wonderful. It's, 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 a, it's a wonderful, uh, all the promises of Jesus, you believe in them, they make you partakers of the divine nature of God. It's, 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 it's really wonderful. So, but there is something, if you do not, you think you have a choice. You think you have a choice. You don't really have a choice, really. Because we have to have Jesus. Because he's life. We have to have him. That's the one thing that is the illusion of choice. The illusion that you can pick. No. You have to have Jesus. Because in Isaiah it says, Who can withstand everlasting burnings? And who shall bear the devouring flame? Who can withstand everlasting burnings? You can't. That's why we have to have Jesus. It is a perfect place. With no, it's, it's what you want. It's what you want. A place with no pain, no sorrow. It's there, it's available. A, a place where everyone just gives. 
is a place of love and a place of joy. It's the kingdom of God. For the kingdom of God is not easy than drinking, but righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. Righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. So that's what the kingdom is. That's what the kingdom is about. And it, but the thing is, the illusion of this world, the illusion of the things and the distractions that the enemy puts before you are the things that are distracting you from what you really want. So like I said earlier, you have to get, you have to let go of what you think you want to get what you really want. You do want to go to heaven, trust me, you do. You do not want to go to hell, believe me, I know. You do not want to go there. I know people who have seen heaven and hell, they've had visions of heaven and hell, I know them personally. And you do not want to go to hell. You, do, you have to understand that hell is a, a place, it's a waiting place for the lake, lake of fire. This is the promises of Christ. You was made for God. You was made for Him. You was made for heaven. You was made for heaven. You were designed to be in perfect relationship with the Father. Which is why Jesus came down to bring you back to have perfect relationship with the Father again. Because Jesus is life. And uh, Jesus is the truth. So if you believe in Jesus, you can have the truth dwelling in you. The truth is in Jesus. And there is a reason to life. The truth is in Jesus. That's why we preach Jesus Christ and Him crucified. That's what Paul said, all I know is Jesus Christ and Him crucified. All I know is Jesus Christ and Him crucified and raised from the dead on the third day. And then what happens when you believe in Jesus? Your old man gets crucified with Him and then your sins are left behind and then you're risen with Jesus Christ. Seated in heavenly places with Christ, in Christ Jesus. That in the ages to come, God might show forth his exceeding kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. And that is Christ Jesus, for by grace we are saved through faith. And that not of yourself, it is the gift of God. Not of works that any man to boast, but we are the workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. God bless you, darling.